I've always thought it was uh, out of character for David to drink anything as, as corrupt as whiskey. Out of character for him to be murdered, too. <laughs> yes, wasn't it? The good Americans usually die young on the, on the battlefield, don't they? Well, the Davids of this world merely occupy space, which is why he was the perfect victim for the perfect murder. Of course, he, uh, he was a Harvard undergraduate. <laughs> that might make it justifiable homicide. He's dead and we've killed him. But he's still here. In less than eight hours, he'll be resting gently but firmly at the bottom of a lake. Meanwhile, he's here. What are you doing? It's not locked. All the better. It's much more dangerous. A anyway, the lock's too old. It won't work. I wish it would. I wish we had him out of here. I wish it was somebody else. It's a trifle late for that, don't you think? Uh, whom would you have preferred? Kenneth? Oh, I don't know. I suppose anyone was as good or as bad as any other. You, perhaps. You frightened me. You always have. From that very first day in prep school. Part of your charm, I suppose. I, I'm only kidding, Brandon. I, I obviously can't take it as well as you, so I'm turning on you a little. That's rather foolish, isn't it? Yes. Very. May I have a drink now? By all means. This is an occasion. It calls for champagne. Champagne? I put some in the icebox. When did you put it there, Brad? Oh, just before David arrived. You were certain it would come off, weren't you? Of course. You know I'd never do anything unless I did it perfectly. I've always wished for more artistic talent. Well, murder can be an art, too. The power to kill can be just as satisfying as the power to create.